Hi. Diane Abbott, MP, has just been suspended from the Parliamentary Labour Party. The reason? A letter she wrote to and was published in The Observer claiming that Irish, Jewish and traveller people undoubtedly experience prejudice but are not subject all their lives to racism. This was just the excuse Starmer required to give her the elbow. Now she's going to sit with Corbyn as an exiled independent on the backbenches. Abbott does have previous form complaining years back about the local hospitals hiring too many blonde Scandinavian nurses. But her observer letter shows, at best, she has no real understanding of anti-Semitism of the Holocaust, where up to six million Jewish people were deliberately, systematically exterminated by the Nazi regime. Doesn't Abbott realise that the foundation of Nazism is anti-Semitism and that their entire outlook is reflected through this warped world outlook? That it still drives ultra-rightism even more so than the cancer of anti-black racism? Try reading, if you can stomach it, the Turner Diaries, for example. Abbott's North Hackney constituency contains a substantial proportion of Hasidic and Orthodox Jewish people in the Stamford Hill area. She certainly hasn't done Corbyn and the Labour left any favours, nor, come to think of it, black and Asian people who are subjected to institutional, state and individual racism every day in this feudal capitalist UK. Labour, the left, now face a civil war with pro and anti Abbott factions developing, it will become another example of their political bloodletting. For those who subscribed, and still do, to the Corbyn illusion, this is part of the toxic legacy. Labour are an authoritarian party. A Labour government, no matter which faction is in charge, will mean a continuation of what's going down right now. We urgently require autonomous anti-authority revolutionary politics from below. Not this reactionary Labour garbage. Bye.